Get ready to match the stars. Orson Bean, Brett Summers, Charles Nelson Riley, Meredith McRae, Richard Dawson, and Marsha Wallace as we play the star-studded Big Money Match Game 74. And now, here's the host of Match Game 74, Gene Rivers. for joining us here today. I, something I neglected to point out is that we've reunited Charles and Orson. Oh, yeah. You guys have known each other for a long time. We're you the to... original odd couple. <laughs> I, you what I acting... want to know is when are you going to reunite Jack and me? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know about that. We have no plans to do that. Yeah, but we these... were in acting sc school together. Whose yeah. class about was that? 22 years ago. Yeah. No, don't say the date. Shh. Don't, don't, don't. Shh. Uh, Uda Hagen. Uda Hagen. Uda Hagen. Best yeah. actresses yes. in the world and one yeah. of the best acting teachers. Good teacher. Although, yeah. in our case, it didn't work out too <laughs> well. Right. You guys both right. turned out okay. Oh, yeah. You know, the thing that Charles talent. did for a long time, which I understand is in reruns, I haven't seen it, is The Ghost and Mrs. Yes. Muir, and you were delightful in that. Is that still going? Show. Yes, yeah. we're, on all, we're on all over the country. <laughs> What's wrong? Is anything wrong down here? Oh, yeah, tell about she well, was in. I was in her first play on TV. My very first. Her very job. first words. What was that? After selling bed sheets and all the really fun stuff, I did uh, my first job with Charles Nelson Riley. And it was a joy. She was a waitress. Well, right? yes, I was. Ended up on the cutting room floor. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. All right, I think our celebrities are all ready to have a go at it. Let's say hello to our current champion, Virginia Shook, who's won $700 so far. How are you? I'm fine now. <laughs> you got two games under your belt. I and that means you're going to have another go at the audience match in which you can win over $5,000. We're going to get to that, Virginia, right after we get to this message of importance for you. Come back. Here we go with Virginia Shook. $700 to her credit. She's going to have a go at over $5,000 now. Good luck to you, Virginia. We polled a recent studio audience, and we got their best response to this. Blank fly. Now, the answer they... <laughs> the answer they gave most often is worth $500 to you if you match it. <laughs> second most frequent response is two fifty if you match that one, and if you match the third one, it's a hundred dollars. All right, straighten out y'all as camera crew here, you know, and, and fly right here now. Then. Just don't ask no. Richard, Virginia. <laughs> now you get a little help from our celebrities, namely three. Uh, Brett. I say housefly. Housefly is one. Oh, Another just one. Watch it now, uh, <laughs> Richard. Superfly. Superfly. <laughs> Fly like soup. Yes, Superfly, he say. Orson. And Orson. El Senor. <laughs> no, no. Go ahead. Say, give us your hand. Take one of mine, Orson. Go ahead. Horse. Horsefly, he says. So you have Check a horse out, fly, you have a house fly, and you've got a super fly. You may choose one of those, <laughs> or give us one of your own <laughs> if you'd like. What do you say? I'm just gonna go for super fly. Super fly, you think, is it? She thinks super fly is under the big response there. We're gonna find out right now if it is indeed up there at all. First, may we see the $100 response? Horsefly is up there. Is the one that Orson gave you. Very yes. good. Still looking for Superfly. Here is a $250 response. Butterfly is a good one. We didn't think of that, did we, that dummies? That. No. Kind of a minty crowd back there. Yes. I was in pink, and I thought of a sweet butterfly. Yeah, you thought really of a butterfly. Did. But no one called on me. No one called on you. <laughs> <laughs> I won't right. tell you what he wrote on his card. Here is the third and last chance to see if you're going to get your Superfly. Here is the $500 response. <laughs> Superfly, you've got it. You've got it. Very good, Richard. 
You can thank old Richard for giving you that one. Well done. All right. So you got the $500. That means you will now play for 10 times that amount or $5,000. And to collect, remember, you got to match one celebrity. Which one will it be? Richard. Okay, has to be exact. Remember that. You face me. Richard will write his response to this, if you would, please. Bob blank. <laughs> Bob blank. He's finished his response. Virginia, we need your answer. How do you fill in the blank? Bob? Exactly what I'm doing. Hope. Bob, hope. hope. You're hoping that he's written a same right thing. Right now. All right, we'll find out right now for $5,000, Richard, sir. May we see your answer? Well, so they don't get violent, a Bob in England is a shilling. Is it what? Is a shilling. It's oh, a, it's a shilling. Yeah. That's right. It's a it's denomination. It's the only, you know, yeah. I just hope that I didn't upset you. who wrote in and got me on this program, and I love them, They're too. the ones who wrote in? They're the ones who wrote in and said their mother ought to be on. And here she is. And she's got the money. She's up there. You what? I said I'd make you money. Well, you've done that. We congratulate you. Virginia, you're up to $6,200. You're going to play another game against John Paul Scott. Here he comes. Hello, John. Can't wait. You know Virginia, John? Oh, John. She just went for the whole bundle. John, we welcome you Thank and you. wish you the best of luck and ask you to tell us a little bit about John Paul Scott. That's a great name. Thank you. Uh, I work for a national retail hardware chain, and I have a beautiful wife, Connie, and a daughter of two named Jennifer. Okay. Good luck to you here. Are you ready to have a go at it? Ready. Okay. Here's the button I push. And that reveals two questions, and you as a challenger will make a selection, if you would, please. I'll take A. He wants A. You ready? <laughs> okay, everybody plays. Yes, yes. Bernice said. Yes. George. Yes. You were really disgusting last night <laughs> when my friends were over. All you did was sit in the corner and blank. <laughs> Bernice said that. George, you were really disgusting last night when my friends were over. All you did was sit in the corner and... Okay. Everybody ready down here, Brett? I'm not down there. I'm up here. Oh, you mean everyone's ready down there? That's right. Oh, yes, I understand. Now, John, Bernie said, George, you were really disgusting last night when my friends were over. All you did was sit in the corner and... Sleep. Sleep. You like that? Sleep. I suppose that would be a disgusting thing to do uh, at a party when everybody was being very gay. Orson, what do you say? Wouldn't disgust me. Drink. Drink. Drink would never disgust you, would it, Brett? You can swing that in ragtime, sweetheart. <laughs> <laughs> what do For you say? For all those people in America who think that Jack Klugman is a swinger, Snore. Snore and sleep, is that a match? That's a that is a match. That is a match. All right, may we hear the dinger? We didn't hear it because the audience was there. Would you mind? Dead. There is it, there thank you not. very much. Charles. I said pout. Pout, all you did was sit in the corner and, and, pout. and pout. Sleep is the answer that uh, he is looking for. And uh, what do you say? Well, I went along with Orson and I said drink. Drink, okay, that seems to be the popular favorite there. How about you, sir? Oh, that's the popular favorite. <laughs> this guy, you know, he sat in the corner and burp, 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 burp. <laughs> that because is, he's been drinking all night. That is disgusting behavior. Sleep is the answer he's answer. looking for. He's matched once. Marsha, what do you say to that? Drink. Drink. Okay. So we had a lot of booze there, John. One match for you, and we'll have a question for you after we have this message for you. 